today we uh, there's so many topics to talk about, but we are going to focus in these three stories. Okay, we're going to talk about Ukraine is about to retake um, Melitopol, and we're going to also um, talk about the statement of Russian guys. We said we are going to obliterate the West. And then we're going to talk about the corruption that's holding Africa back. All right. I am Bob Sankarian. Uh, make sure you, you subscribe and hit like, share your thoughts, and thank you for watching. You are appreciated. All right. So the Ukrainian army is marching toward Molitopol, and Russian troops are setting up Dragon Thief to slow down Ukrainians pushing to retake Molitopol. Wagner Group men are preparing and they dig in for the inevitable street fighting in Molitopol. So now you must be asking yourself, why is Molitopol so important for Ukraine, right, to retake? Well, my friend, let me tell you, okay, Molitopol is one of the most important industrial cities in Ukraine. And Ukraine must retake it because it could help them take back the entire Zaporizhia oblast or region and the other part of Kherson and wrap it up by giving Ukrainian possibility of cutting Russian supply lines and move toward retaking Crimea. It will be extremely difficult for Ukrainians to, to pass through the dragon teeth, of course, that Russian troops are building. Because dragon teeth are anti-tank structures that look like teeth, and then uh, they are ob uh, their main objectives is to slow down advancing enemy tanks. But Ukrainians are pushing toward the city, and Russians are getting ready for final city combat. In this so important city, Melitopol, Ivan Fedorov, the mayor of Melitopol, says that uh, invaders, I mean the Russian forces are in the center of the city. They are organizing to fight to, advance, uh, to fight the advancing Ukrainian forces and that they are preparing to, to, for the street battle. And that will destroy the entire infrastructure. And Fedorov sa also says that the dragon teeth would not be of any help to Russians and they should, uh, they should escape now toward the border because Ukrainians are roaring like lions and they are coming to take back uh, what belongs to them. Wow, it's talking tough. <laughs> Russian forces are building fortifications and trenches in occupied zones and inside Russian regions like uh, Belgorod and Kursk. Ukrainian forces are bombing command centers, uh, ammunition depots, and strategic bridges that connect uh, Kostyantinivska and Melitopol used by Russians to, to transport supplies to soldiers. Uh, Militopol was occupied by Russian forces in mid-February, and it is strategically named the gateway to Crimea. If Ukrainians want to retake Crimea, they first need to retake Militopol. Guys, embrace yourself for this fight, all right? It will be probably even bloodier than the Donbass battle. I'm pretty sure Russians will fight. They will fight hard to avoid Ukrainians from controlling this strategic city. This is a game of chess, okay? First, Ukrainians retook Kherson, and Melitopol is next. They can use Kherson to bomb Crimea with IMARS, uh, which can uh, degrade Russian defenses while moving uh, toward Crimea from Melitopol, which will be decisive, okay, phase of the war. Well, we are going to obliterate West. Russian propagandist says that uh, the West will be destroyed completely and reduced to ashes. Russia claims to be able to shoot down IMARS rockets, and they now adapting to they now are adapting to Ukrainian offensive, and they know how to defend against it. Russians keep up uh, the bombing of Kiev. Nikopol district, Dnitropotrovsk, Sunny Oblast, and Kherson with Iranian kamikaze drones. Zelensky force claimed that uh, they were able to inflict heavy losses on Russian forces in Bakhmut, Donbass region, 
But uh, Russian says both sides are losing over 100 soldiers daily. It is estimated that 400 to 900 Russian and Ukrainian men had been killed in combat in Bakhmut, the hell city. Zelensky says uh, they are looking into all type of defensive scenarios without discarding the possibility of Belarus attacking Ukraine and uh, border protection is a priority right now. Russian claims that they were able to enter the uh, Yakovlevska settlement in Donetsk Oblast and uh, it is in their full, I mean their full control. Russian TV star Vladimir Solovyov says that the uh, West will be obliterated by Russia if Russia loses the war in Ukraine. He says that what's happening in Ukraine won't stay only in Ukraine. A holy, he said a holy war is underway. The Russians are fighting for the, for the right of mankind to live in its original state as designed by God. He also says that Ukraine and the West are not fighting against Russia, but they are fighting against God. And if they win, uh, the West will be decimated or the whole world will be reduced to ashes. He says the uh, humans that fight against God will be destroyed. All right. So let's go to Africa now. Corruption, my, my brothers, is holding Africa back. My African brothers and sisters, let me tell you why, uh, why to look. Uh, our corrupt politician holding power are enjoying a lavish lifestyle like Theodore Biangama and his playboy son, the junior. They spend the millions of our brothers and uh, uh, millions of our brothers are uh, being deprived of the necessity of life, like food, education, health, clean water, housing, and decent sanitation. And their outdated government policies are slowing down the economic growth and technological innovation and improvement of living conditions of the people because there's still the money that could be used or applied to improve and develop the country. They are rats, big rats. Lawmakers, instead of working for the people that elect them, they have been working to steal from the people. They have been uh, increasing their salary every year while their people are suffering. Gambian um, lawmaker Tuma Njai recently called them out. The Gambia National Assembly. And let's watch this, this video here. Looking at the Honorable Minister's statement and looking at the budget, I think that our government does not love this country. They do not have the feeling to nurture our children in this country. Honorable Speaker, six billion dollars in salaries alone, not in administrative cost. Honorable Speaker, and we say we are a poor country. Honorable Speaker, the median age in this country is 19 years old. We should consider the life and the livelihood of our children. We should be investing in education. We should be investing in health, rather than paying ourselves, feeding ourselves, out of the poor people of this country. I will start with this August Assembly, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, to see the salary of the Honorable Speaker increased from 658 million to one to 658,000 to 1 million 560, I feel ashamed to call myself an honor. So now, I, uh, so now I, want, uh, I want you all, young Africans in the continent and diaspora, to get up and to stand up against these parasites. They are our main enemies. They are the reason why you're still poor. They are the reason why you have no future, no money in your pocket, all right? No school, no hospital and no food. Our ancestors, Amilcar Cabral, Tomás Sankara, Kwame Nkrumah, Sekou Toure, Agostinho Neto, Nelson Mandela, Julius Nyerere, and Robert Mugabe, they fought 
the fascist colonialist Europeans to set us free. Now we got to fight against these parasites, traitors that are exploding us. They are not our brothers. They are the real enemy within us. Let's stand up and get rid of them because only then Africa will rise up. All right? Let's stand up, my brothers and sisters. This is Bob Sankarian. Thanks for watching. And do not forget to subscribe, like, and share. Have a nice day. You are appreciated.